In tonight's Priority Health, there's a new way to rehab from traumatic injuries. Patients recovering from stroke and brain injuries have a new home in Tampa. Bay News 9's Rachelle Davis has the story. I had to learn walking, talking. Five and a half years ago, Abby Blackburn suffered a brain injury that took part of her memory. Michael, her husband of 28 years, became her teacher. But even with his help, Abby wants more. She doesn't feel like she has a place or a, or a purpose outside in the world. And I see Clubhouse as, as providing something like that. Clubhouse is a branch of the nonprofit Synops House, which will open its first Tampa location next week. Deborah Giesler is the director and has spent 20 years working as a therapist with brain injury patients. A lot of times after someone has a brain injury or a stroke, they're not able to go back to work again. And so what do they do? And given that most people that are injured are young, they're 20 to 40 years old, you're looking at a lifetime of not really having that focus again. St. Clement's Church was looking for a way to give back to the community when they found the clubhouse. Now their property will be used to help people suffering from brain injuries and stroke. The clubhouse is for those who have already received medical treatment and rehabilitation therapy. People like Michelle Corbin, who suffered a brain injury after a bicycle accident last September. There are no programs available. I did so much research and so much wandering for the last several months trying to put my life back together and only having a team of doctors to try to help who could only treat my residual effects. Under Geisler's guidance, members will learn to answer the phones, write a newsletter, cook, and run the nonprofit. Pretty typical real life activities that help people like Abby Blackburn get back to life again. Having a job here, taking care of things here, uh, I think that would be great. And Abby won't have to go through it alone. In Tampa, Rachel Davis, Bay News 9. There are similar clubhouse programs across the country. Giesler is hoping once people see the Tampa clubhouse in action, they will reach out to help.